Helping those in need, it's something our communities across Idaho embrace. Thanksgiving is always a time where we see people jump into action to help those in need. In Gem County, a team started early this morning to make meals to deliver to those in need. It is something they do on an annual basis, but this year they knew the need would be more. Joe Paris takes us to Gem County to show us the special Thanksgiving tradition that volunteers say helps define the meaning of thanks. We are giving back to the local community um, by way of a free hot Thanksgiving dinner. The team at the Gem County Recovery Community Center worked through Thanksgiving to make and deliver meals to people in need in their community as a part of their Feed the Need campaign. Led by Executive Director Stacy Rosecrans, volunteers assembled holiday meals that have it all. Turkey, ham, mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, sweet potatoes, green bean casserole, pie, dinner rolls. Dwight Munger wears a lot of hats at the center and Thanksgiving is no different. Today, he's focused on getting meals out. The advertisement to their area is simple. Anyone in need can simply call and get the meals that they need delivered. We anticipate delivering uh, several hundred meals today. Last year, we did about 230 meals, and, um, and we expect that to be doubled this year. The tough reality is that 2020 has been extra tough on Idaho communities. Munger says a great team came together knowing their community needed them. From what's been reported and told to us recently, Jeb County has a, a higher rate of food insecurity than any other county in the state of Idaho. The Gem County Recovery Community Center is a resource for people battling things like addiction or mental illness. Munger says the community is so supportive of them, so they want to do what they can to return the sentiment. So this is our way of giving back uh, to the community and to those people um, who share and show love to us. The community donated food, supplies, and money to help power feed the need. And that is something the center is so thankful for. Munger says acts like that make this community event special. And gives you the inspiration to do more and to be more kind to people every day. This is a place filled with inspiration for many. Munger, for example, draws on his personal experiences of overcoming hard times with the support here. Uh, I became an amputee. Um, about four years ago, um, following a uh, tragic car accident, the devastation of the accident and the amputation and recovering from the injuries and the addiction and all that, um, I, I was very defeated. He ended up here to simply take a class, but with the support and sense of community, he found himself started on a path to overcoming his toughest challenges. That's something that Munger says he is forever thankful for. Sometimes I have to pinch myself um, because I was in such despair, you know, four years ago and my life was completely over um, as, as I knew it. And now um, I'm ha seriously and honestly, genuinely happier than I've ever been. It's no secret that 2020 has been a hard year for a lot of people. But Munger says seeing volunteers in the community come together to help those in need helps define to him what the season of thanks is about. I, I used to think I was thankful or I would say that I was thankful, but it was sort of hollow or empty. Now, uh, my gratitude and, and my thankfulness really comes from the heart. And uh, the team up in Gem County, they tell me that they'll actually be delivering meals up until 7 o'clock. So if you are in need, if you're in the Gem County area, if you're in the Emmett area, uh, we'll have that number on the bottom of the screen here for you. You can give that a call. Again, no questions asked. If you or your family is in need and you just need a, a hot, warm Thanksgiving meal, they're happy to provide that for anyone in that area. And Carolyn, a story I just really want to uh, share quickly. I was talking with Dwight this afternoon after our interview, and he told me that they actually got contacted about a woman who was supposed to spend Thanksgiving with their friends and family and for whatever reason they weren't able to get together this year. Well, Dwight went and they actually delivered flowers to make sure that she knew that the community was there for her. And it's just, it made me smile. It made me think that a small gesture, just bringing someone some flowers, it's, it's been so much more than it might mean uh, than in past Thanksgivings. Right, food, flowers, and a whole lot of love. Thank you, Joe, for that report. You know,